Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdo. So we are learning about the pre-rendering of this one. So normally for creating this angular thing, so I will try to close these all the nodejs. Now let's try to understand carefully. So this is the main concept uh, which you need to understand about the pre-rendering concept. So now when you try to create an angular project with the server side rendering, so here you will be able to see in the package.json file, so some common options you will be able to see. So the ng build is the option which you need to do it when you want to pre-render the options. And here this is the server which we need to run. So node dist angular server.main.jss. When after running this ng build, you, if you want to check it means, so you need to check it this one. So let's try to see the in our angular developer config docs how it will be. So we have created our angular file. So once the SSR is added, you need to generate the static pages by running the build command that is nothing but ng build. So this is the command which we need to run. And here the pre-render option. So you need to observe the pre-render option. So here this is the, this is our angular.json file. If you try to observe carefully, this is the angular.json file. And if you try to see the pre-render option by default, it will be true. So that means whenever you try to build an ng build, automatically the pre-render option will be true. So all, all the files, whatever the routes that are static. So the routes which are static routes all the routes will be pre-rendered by default. So that is the main thing. So when the option is set to false means then the no pre-rendering is done. So when it is true means all options use the default value. When it is an object means so you can also provide it as an object. So I will try to show you that object thing. So now if you try to understand this thing, options available is the discover routes and also the routes file. So let's try to understand one by one. So here, so where I want to show it, here in our dist file, Okay, so right now we don't have any dist file here. Let's try to build it npm run build. So I am doing the build option. So when you try to build the option, you will be able to find a dist folder here. All the browser files and also your server files will be created. I told you right by default in the angular docs, they have mentioned that it is by default the pre render option is true. Default value is true. So that means whatever the angular router configuration unparameterized routes will be pre-rendered. So I will try to show you that option, how it will be. So it is taking some time to build it. So let it take some time. So here you will try to observe that. So the, here the server bundle has been created <coughs> and here the pre-rendered is two static routes. So two routes has been static. So that means pre-rendered. So if you try to see in our app.routes.ts file, now we here we are having unparameterized routes is the two, two, two routes are this is a parameterized route that, is mean, that means it is a dynamic route so these two are parameterized so that's why if you try to check the path column component home component and also http cache so these two files will be pre-rendered so if you try to check in the dish folder so how it will be having is so you here you will be able to have a browser and also a server so now here if you open the browser and all those things so here you will be able to see the HTTP cache thing. Okay. Here you will be able to see the HTTP cache and this is the pre-rendered file. And here this index.html is the main thing. So if I try to open this one in our, uh, what I want to say is uh, in our live server, I will try to show you the pre-render thing. If you try to open this one, so this is the home page. And if I try to open the same file in the HTTP cache means, so if you, you will be able to observe the same thing. So see here, you will be able to see the output the data the api data and all those things you will be able to see the output so this is what i want trying to explain you so that means the entire html page will be will be copied and it will be placed in the dist folder so that whenever the user tries to uh, access this what i want to say is slash http cache means then instead of giving you the file it will give you the pre uh, pre-rendered file so directly the, the user opens this one, then it will give you the pre-render thing. Now let's go to here. So this is how it will be pre-rendered. So where these pre-render options and all those things is going on, that is nothing but in our, in our angular.json file. So here in our angular.json file, if you observe carefully, here you will be able to have one option, pre-render to true. So this is by default, it is a pre-render to true. Now if I try to keep this one as a false, let's try to see. And I will, I, I will delete this, uh, dish to folder then we will see that whether this http cache and all those files will be created or not we'll try to see delete permanently and has been deleted and i now i kept it as pre-render false let's try to see 
npm run build so i am trying to run this npm run build let's let let's run this one <clears throat> it may take some time so let it run so now here the uh, files and all those things are automatically created so if you try to see here dist in the browser so now here you will not able to see any pre-rendered file now if you want to access the same file here so you will not able to access the same file here so why because you cannot able to find it why because so that means here we have kept it as a pre-rendered false so this one pre-rendered false it also takes as an object okay it will also take it as an object so how it will try, try take it as an object means so here you will be having two files that is nothing but discover routes so this discover routes true means that is nothing but keeping the pre-render as true only so now if you try to do the same build option now you will be able to see now you will be able to see the same build thing so now you will be able to see the index.html and all those things it will be uh, built so let's try to see so fine now here if you try to observe http cache and all those things are again pre-rendered now if i try to make it as a false means then if i run it this one then it will not be rendered so this this is a long form notation of this pre presenting the pre-render simply if you want to true means you can make it as a true but remember that only the static routes like unparameterized routes only will be pre-rendered or otherwise it will be uh, saved as an html in the dist file you are having a parameterized things those files will not be saved so that is one thing which you need to understand so this npm run build so now <clears throat> now here you will not able to see those other thing so apart from this one you also have an another option that is nothing but routes file okay here you will be able to see a routes file so routes file why we will be using this one is if you want to configure or otherwise if you want to pre-render so if you if you if you want to pre-render only particular files so you can use it here routes file i can keep it as in routes.txt okay so i am keeping this one as a false but in the routes.txt so i am creating a routes.txt file so here i will create a routes.txt file i want i don't want all the static files or something like that to be pre-rendered i want only particular files means then i can give only http cache so whatever the url you are having http cache so those things only should be rendered so that means by default the pre-render is false but only the uh, urls that are present in this roots.txt file those only should be pre-rendered now let's try to see whether http cache will be pre-rendered or not let's see so here you'll be able to see the pre-rendered two static sites so that means uh, the home page will be automatically it will be pre-rendered why because so other than that uh, the page is pre-rendered for example let's say that i have removed this one only the uh, only the home page only should be pre-rendered means then what you can see only the one static route will be pre-rendered that is nothing but the home page so here whatever the urls you will be mentioning it here automatically those urls only will be pre-rendered so that is one thing which i want to tell you and uh, another one which i want to tell you is that so that is that is the that is the main thing so here only one static route has been pre-rendered so that is nothing but uh, you will be able to see only the index page has been done and you are not able to see the http cache why because i haven't mentioned here in the uh, routes.txt file so fine so now we can able to control or fully uh, control this one so for example if you want to have a parameterized uh, routes like uh, let's say that uh, you are having like this so product slash id means these are all uh, dynamic routes so if you want to pre-render this dynamic route means how we can do it so that one also we can able to do it i will try to show you about that one so this is all about the pre-rendering of this static files so hope you understood about this concept so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you